The words I'm not ready is probably one of the biggest reasons that students fail. Every time I speak to students and ask them how questions are going or tell them you need to sit and do a question, the first thing I hear from them is I'm not ready. If I'm not ready yet, I haven't revised enough, I haven't gone through it, I'm not comfortable, I don't know what I'm doing, it would be silly now, I'm going to fail. Those little words, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, those are going to turn into the reasons that you fail. You will never be ready for that exam. Students think that the hard part about their studies is the technical stuff, it's about the work. That's not the hard part. The hard part of your studies is sitting down and doing something when you're not ready. You're not ready. You'll never be ready. The whole point of exams is to assess you on something that you, you have flawed knowledge on that you're not ready to do. You haven't mastered it yet. For so many students, the I'm not ready becomes a reason for them not to do questions. Then that becomes an excuse. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Before the exam, we force ourselves to be ready, but it's too late. We, we don't have the time to learn, to master the knowledge, to understand what it is we need to do to pass. I'm not ready is something I hear from students every single day. I'll do it next week, Yvonne. I'll do it over the weekend. I'll study over the weekend. I've got it planned for my study leave. I'm not ready yet. I can't do it. There's a million reasons. There's a million excuses. But when you find yourself thinking that, when you find those words, I'm not ready, understand they are a lie. They are going to be the reason that you fail. The hard part of what you're doing is that you have to do stuff when you're not ready. Students will ask me, when I'll do anything, what do I need to do to pass? What do I need to do to pass? And they'll sit for hours at the desk. And when I tell them, you need to start by doing questions, you need to start, start by doing questions to understand where you are right now. They pull back and they go, no, no, that's too hard. I can't do that. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. You will never be ready for exams. The purpose of doing questions is misunderstood. Instinctively, we feel that the purpose of doing questions is to assess whether or not we're ready to pass, whether or not we're ready to write that exam. That's rubbish, that's a lie. The purpose of doing questions is to practice and understand what you know and learn what you know and learn what you don't know. Questions are part of the learning process. It's to assess where you are right now so that you can understand what gaps that you have to fill. Students think, Yvonne, I'm only gonna write an exam when I'm ready to pass it. I'm only gonna do a question when I'm ready to pass it because it's going to assess whether or not I'm ready to pass. That's rubbish. That's not what questions are for. Questions are to assess where you are right now so that you can bridge that gap, so that you can learn, so that you can understand what it is that you still need to work on. It's part of the learning process. So when those little words pop into your head and when you hear those words from people around you and when you feel those words popping up, I'm not ready, understand that if you listen to those words, if you give in to those words, you're giving in to a lie that's going to make you fail.